everybody welcome to boots and jeans riders this is rich i'm riding on a nice sunny day cake unfortunately at home again babysitting but what i want to talk about today is youtube videos views versus watch time views versus watch time what is more important to you your views or your watch time well Let's put it like this. I love it when it comes to views. If I look at my views and I got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 views, I love it. So I put it, I look at it like this. Views is what drives me. It's, views is the fuel for my soul to come back out and make another video for you guys to watch. Along with comments. comments really really feels my soul also so if you haven't checked out my comment video look at my comment video i'll put it up here somewhere but let's get back to views versus watch time what is more important to you views or the watch time i know that a lot of motor vloggers probably a higher percentage somewhere like 75 to 80 that i see care less about looking at the analytics they could care less about the analytics because let's face it, we all got into it for the fun of it. Nobody got into it to be a YouTube up as a career, motor vlogging as a career. Now, some people are making a lot of money, obviously, but even those who are doing that probably didn't get into it for the money. Get in, they got into it for the love of riding motorcycles and sharing your adventure of riding motorcycles with the world. But what's more important? Well, let me break this down a little bit. If you, one of those motor vloggers or YouTubers in general, content creators, really wanted to build up your YouTube channel, want to grow your YouTube channel, then views aren't as important as watch time. For me, I like the views more. I really don't like to go and look at analytical and watch time. Let me tell you why they aren't as important. Now, there's a lot of things that help you build up your channel. But in this video, we're just talking about the views and the watch time. Why are your views not as important as the watch time? Because you make a video and you look at it and the video is doing extremely well. Let's say the first day, 20,000. For me, that would be extremely well. <laughs> but let's say the first day you get 20,000 views. You are ecstatic. You are happy. And then you look at your analytics, which we know a lot of us like to stay away from, or a lot of motor vloggers anyway. And you find out that your video is going down. Why is that? It's the best video I ever done, more views than anything. So why is it showing that it is down compared to the rest of my videos? Well, the reason is YouTube consider a view one two three seconds it doesn't matter when you click on a video that's a view and if you click off it after a while even if you plan on going back and watching it later it is a view but you've done that person no favors just by clicking on the video for a few seconds because now they have no watch time compared to someone watching a video and stand on a video the entire video now, I found out that it is extremely hard to get people to watch 50% of your video. I'm like, wow. So I, that's when I really start paying attention to my analytics. And yes, it's hard for me to get 50%. It's hard for me to get people to watch 50% of the video, even if it's a video of helping people, an educational video. So what do you do? Well, I say, hey, don't worry about it. Just keep doing what you're doing. If you got in for the love of it, you just stay in it for the love of it. And if your channel grow, that's a fantastic thing. And if it don't, then obviously you should doing some things. You should be doing some things differently. Not only worrying about the views, but obviously there's a lot of things that help your channel grow. And you should be looking at things other than the views. However, if you love riding motorcycles, then who cares? 
But my point is, let me know. You care about your views or you care about your watch time or both? Or you really just don't care at all. You just like making videos. And I think that's where we're on the level of we want our, our channel to grow. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe to the channel and watch the video. Because really trying to get somebody to watch more than 50% of the video, I found out is extremely hard. I didn't think much of it until I watched somebody talk about it. So what are you doing to get people to watch your videos more? Are you changing up things? You're coming up with better topics? What are you doing? How do you handle that? I think for the most part, most of us not going to change at all. And we know when it comes to motor vlogging anyway, the most important thing is your audio. Audio is 50% of your video. And if you have great audio with your motor vloggers, some people would actually listen to the topic and not even watch the videos. I've done that on many occasions. When I'm studying something or reading something and you got a great topic, I don't have to see what you're writing in order to understand a topic and look at the whole, or listen to the entire video. So you get a 100% view from me if you actually have a good topic. You're talking about something interesting. And if nothing necessary, it doesn't have to be a topic. I watch videos where people just come out talking about things that happen in their family. It's not a specific topic, so to speak, but they're just talking about how their life going, what's going on with them. And yes, I would watch 100% of it if it's interesting. So I ask you again, what's more important to you? Views or watch time? And if you're planning on building your channel and you want it to grow, you got to watch the analytics. You got to look at your analytics and start studying this stuff. When I started looking at that, I was kind of like, mm, I really don't want to spend that much time YouTubing. I, I just rather do the video, put it up, and let it fall where it falls. If it falls up high, a lot of views and watch time, great. If not, so be it. I don't want to kind of start studying analytical. And yes, of course, we want our channel to grow. But to go so much to be a YouTuber for life and doing stuff like that, I'm not interested in it, not interested in it at all. So anyway, that's all I have for right now. So if you're out riding, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. For Booster Jeans Riders, this is Rich, and I am out. Peace.